Hey, Rodney, you told me your name, Rodney Wayne Osborne, right? Yes. And uh, your date of birth, what was that again, October? October 6, 58. 1958. Okay. And uh, at your residence now, is that correct? Yes. And we're looked to uh, 17004. Where is this? Lucasville, Ohio, yes. right? Okay. And um, where were you born? Were you born in Lucasville? Born in Portsmouth. In Portsmouth, Ohio? Okay. But uh, you're out here in Lucasville now. And um, um, how much education do you have? High school. High school? Okay. And then um, are you married, single, divorced, widowed, separated, all of the above, or what? <laughs> single. Okay. <laughs> and um, your parents' names now. Uh, do you have any children? Okay, now your father's name. I'll try to get a timeline here. You Earl know. Osborne. So your father's name is Earl. Earl Osborne. Earl Osborne. What's your mother's name? Uh, El or Janie Osborne. Janie. Mm -hmm. What was her maiden name? Howard. Her maiden name was Howard. Yes. Okay. Howard. Now let me ask you this question. Your father's parents' names. Do you know those? The, oh, um, I know there'd be a test. Dor <laughs> Dorothy uh, Osborne and uh, um, Emmett. Okay, Emmett Osborne. Now, Dorothy is your grandmother's name, right? Yes. Uh, what was her maiden name, do you know? Armstrong. Armstrong. Okay, now go to your mother's parents' names. What is Howard and uh, Galloway? Francis uh, Galloway. Francis Galloway. And her maiden name. Okay. And... Um, her father's name? Ed Howard. Ed, okay. Um, now let me ask you this. Um, you graduated from high school. Was that Portsmouth High School? Portsmouth West. Oh, Portsmouth West. Uh -huh. West. Okay. What year did you graduate? 76. 76, okay. And uh, I was trying to think when my wife graduated there. Uh, she didn't graduate there. She was in Portsmouth. And uh, after graduation from high school, what did you do? Uh, I was looking for work, and mm -hmm. uh, I graduated early, so they, uh, it's hard to get work. Yeah. And I uh, picked up the Good Shepherd Manor mm -hmm. and um, decided to go into the service. I was trying to get on at the, uh, at the, um, the barges. I was trying to okay. get, All right. get hooked up to the barges and work the river and that yes. sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. I thought that'd be good for a single guy. It would be, I'd say. And uh, and about went in the service, I got called. You got called, called for barge work. Yes. <laughs> well, so the bad, by that time, they're not going to let you out of the service. No. Uh, <laughs> All right. When, when did you go in the service? What What did you did you join? Mm -hmm. What did you join? Uh, the Navy. When did you go in? In uh, November of '77. Okay, November of '77. Mm -hmm. So then, now we have uh, basic training. Mm -hmm. Where did you do that? Um, Great Lakes, Illinois. Okay. How long were you there? From I didn't think of well from the end of November to the middle of uh, February. Okay, February uh, '79 mm -hmm. or something like that. No, well it was seventy seven. First part of '78. Okay. Nineteen seventy eight. Okay. The end of '77 the, through the uh, seventy. To, um, I got out of the middle of February of 78 in boot camp. Okay. Um, did you like that? Boot, did you like boot camp? <laughs> so, that's a joke, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Bad question. Right. Well, then after that, though, what do you do? They call it AIT in the Navy. On the Army, it's Advanced Individual Training. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what did you do then uh, after boot camp? Well, uh, I went. I didn't. I didn't get no school. Uh, I just went to like a two-week school. That was that what you're talking about. This is after boot camp. Then? Well, before I came home. Okay. Uh, right to that school. What kind of school? Uh, they just, they talked about. Uh, it wasn't no particular school. It just had a lot of general stuff about the ship. Okay. So forth and so on. Mm -hmm. um, and um, did you know what ship you were going to be on by that time? Well, they, I think I did when I when I left when I left the school. Okay. Um, 
when you left the school, then you came home for leave? A couple weeks. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that would be back to here, back to Portsmouth, right? West mm -hmm. Portsmouth at that time? Yes. Okay. Well, we lived in Portsmouth. Oh, at that time. We lived in Portsmouth, and uh, that was in, uh, that was the year we had a real bad winter around here. That's right. And, 78 uh, was a bad winter. And I was up around Chicago at that time. Okay. And so How did you get in? Really bad. Did you fly or did, did, did you drive home? Uh, flew into Columbus mm -hmm. and, uh, and, you know, drove home, drove one home. Did somebody pick you up there? Uh, yes. Okay. Is that your dad or your, who was it? Picked you up a friend? Probably my dad and my mom. I, could, I don't even know. So you're here yeah, about, you're here about, you're here about two weeks then, and now you've uh -huh. got to go. Do you know where you're going then? Or I guess yeah, you do. Yeah, I do know where I'm going then. Where? I was stationed in Concord, California. Concord. Mm -hmm. And where is that located? Up around San Francisco, Oakland. Okay. Up northern part of California. All right. <clears throat> now you, you get to Concord. You know your ship by that time? Mm -hmm. So you're going on ship. Mm -hmm. You're going on a ship. Mm -hmm. And what was the name of it? The USS Mauna Kea. Mauna Kea. What kind of ship was it? Ammunition ship. Ammunition. Okay. And um, so, so you get to... California, you get to your ship. What's your job on the ship? Uh, I did a lot of painting. <laughs> a lot of painting. Okay. Um, uh, I was a, a bosun's mate, um, which they, you just do a lot of general work uh, in there, and I did a lot of chipping, paint, and painting. Yeah. And then I, but I was trying to uh, get into uh, what they call hall technicians. And uh, right before I got hurt, I went down and talked to the people, mm -hmm. which was similar to like a plumber. Mm -hmm. And I was looking, because I was planning on getting married when I got out of the service, so I was looking for, uh, I thought that'd be a good trade to, to learn. Okay. Right. And, uh, but before I got a chance to get into that, you know, I got mm -hmm. hurt and everything. So. Okay. Now, did you ever go out to sea? No. Uh, it's kind of a funny uh, what happened? story. Well, I was, our ship was... Uh, main uh, um, place was Concord, uh, but when I got to Concord, uh, my ship wasn't there, <laughs> and uh, okay. it was in a uh, dry dock over in Alameda, California, which is the northern part of California again. Was it a new ship, or was it just no, it was an old ship? It, okay, it was in dry dock, though, getting yeah. cleaned and yeah, things like that. Yeah, worked on okay. And um, so um, they... Uh, they called from Concord and let them know that I wasn't AWOL, and uh, they sent a driver over. Mm -hmm. And um, funny thing about that was, I don't remember the driver's name, but he was from right down here around Manchester, Ohio. Oh, no kidding. The driver came pick me up. So Almost was, a neighbor then. Yeah. Okay. That was pretty neat. Okay, yeah. yeah. And then, so they drove you. How far was that drive? Mm, I'm guessing, I'll say 20, 30 miles. Okay. So you finally get there. There's your ship in dry dock. What happens then? What do you do then? Well, when you see them ships, they're a lot bigger in person than they are on TV. I bet. Okay, okay. you're kind of overwhelmed with it? Yeah, I felt like I was looking straight up in the air. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, uh, did, did you ever get to sea on it? I think I asked you that. you ever get to sea on that ship? No. Okay. Um, then what happened? Uh... In that, that evening, or are you talking about yeah, the next? Yeah, that evening. Fine. Mm, excited, nervous. Were you? Didn't okay. really know what to expect. I asked that guy how to, you know, people get along on the ship and yeah. so forth and so on. And, yeah. and uh, uh, just tried to stay busy and keep, okay. uh, keep to myself. And, okay. Um, Go to the barracks. Job. Went to the barracks or wherever. You, they had a... a uh, a, um, uh, a naval base um, pretty close there and every evening after I get off uh, work because when you're in the service it's about like a job mm -hmm. and uh, um, so when I get off I'd go over and I'd work out and use out to eat my supper downtown stuff because service feeds you good I'll say that but they, mm -hmm. I, they, they I ate so much roast beef when I was in there I got sick of <laughs> Excuse uh, yeah, so yeah. me. <laughs> All right. All right. So um,
Well, how long were you there then? I mean, uh, what happened? When did you have your accident, and how long had you been working there before that happened? Uh, <clears throat> well, let's see, what, what I've been there probably a month, month and a half. Mm -hmm. And, uh, like I said, I'd go... The boat was in dry dock that whole time? In dry dock, yeah. And you're the painter? Yeah, I'm painting. One of the many. Probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh... uh like I said, every evening I'd you know I'd go out and I'd go and work out and maybe go to a movie or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'd go down, I used to shoot a lot of pool. I'd go down and shoot pool, mm -hmm. eat myself out and stuff. And this one evening, a uh, friend of mine, his uh, he found I don't remember if it was his fiance or whatever she was pregnant. And he was kind of excited. We went down, go and drink a couple of beers, mm -hmm. and stuff, and went down there and. Um, down by the bay. They used to spend a lot of time down to San Francisco Bay area. Mm -hmm. And uh, we um, we got a six pack and we drank uh, drank and that's over and we did just drank a couple. Going back up to the store to get some more and this guy which my mom was always telling me don't get in with strangers but I figured man this he said something about going to party and then I there we, you know, mm -hmm. there's two of us, and I seen one of him, mm -hmm. so I figured we'd be okay. Got in, and and uh, I'd spend about all evening up front, and uh, when I got and up front, the uh, in the van, okay. yeah. in the van. Mm -hmm. And when I got in, the, and uh, my friend he wanted uh, to sit up front, and I got in the back, and oh, next thing I know, I woke up like this, I was with a broken neck, uh -huh. and uh, in the hospital, they cut my clothes off of me and all that and putting pins in my head and mm -hmm. stuff but the got hit by a drunk driver. Oh okay. Mm -hmm. You you were in the van though yeah. and, and a drunk driver hit the van. Hit the van, knocked me out of the back. Oh. And I used to have two big scars go back to my head where my head went right through the back doors. What happened to those other guys in the van? Not a scratch. Not a scratch. Not a scratch. Nobody except me. Did he hit the side of the van then or the back or the front? She yeah she side. At the side. That's pretty much where you were then, right? You were in the back. Yeah, I was in the back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, that that's the end of the Navy then, isn't it? Um, well, about the next month and a half, I spent in, in a naval hospital in the, in Oakland. Okay. Um, and then they wanted to ship me back as close to home as possible, the best spinal cord unit, and that was Cleveland. All right. So then I spent a lot of time up about the next year in Cleveland. Okay. In the Navy Hospital in in Oakland, um, how would you describe the treatment? Good. Mm -hmm. They did a good job. Yeah. Really. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Matter of fact, there's this one particular um, nurse. Uh, but you remember people like that when they help you, when right. they're really. Uh, right. um, so I couldn't breathe as good as I can now, and I couldn't move my right arm and stuff. And this one nurse, uh, I'd, I'd ordered some clothes on this one shop. And uh, um, like one day away, and I hadn't mm -hmm. got them yet, and she went and canceled that for me. And mm -hmm. then, like, I'd write letters home, and she'd come over, like, after work, and write, and write letters for me. And mm -hmm. you know, you remember people like that. Exactly. To yeah. help you. Did your folks come out to visit you? They, yes. Could they, could they make it? Yes. Okay. Um, and my mom said she'd never fly, but she, <laughs> she did that. Yeah. yeah. Well, then you went to Cle Cleveland Clinic. What? No, uh, Cleveland VA. Cleveland VA. Okay. Right. Wade Park. All right. And uh, was you were there about a year? Mm -hmm. Yeah, close to that. Was that a lot of rehab then? And uh, by that time, a lot of that sort of thing that was going on? That comes yeah, a whole lot. Okay. Yeah. That's, that was tough. Well, that was a tough, real tough period. Yeah. Um, a year, and then what happened after that year? Down here? Got to come home. Did you come to this house or where? No, down Portsmouth. <coughs> down Portsmouth. Down Seventh Street. To your folks' house? Yes. Okay. Where do they live down there on Seventh Street? Uh, now? Mm -hmm. They don't live right now. Oh, okay. Uh, my mom my mom died in uh, 99. Oh, okay. My mom died and uh, my dad, he lives next door here. He's, He's right there? Yeah. Okay, great. How about uh, that address on Seventh Street? Do you remember that? 2210. 2210 on Seventh Street. Okay. And uh, now, uh, well, how'd you end up here in this house? <laughs> You've got a house here. 
<laughs> well, after uh, after came home, uh, well, you know, I was retired from the service, mm -hmm. and you know, I get you know money for the service. Okay, because that's well, and you know, sometimes I, people sometimes kind of seem like they kind of put you down for that, but you know, that's one thing you don't have to worry about. I got enough care to worry about without uh -huh. worrying about money. Right. Travels and you yeah. know so forth and so on, and uh, so then uh, I bought this house. Okay. And uh, then my mom and dad, you know, I took you know care of my mom and dad like you know, mm -hmm. and um, they took care of me. Mm -hmm. And uh, when when did your dad did it come out here beside you there? Um, probably two years. Okay. Your your mom was gone by that time. Yeah. Okay. And my mom she had cancer. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any brothers and sisters? No. You're the only child. I'm the only one. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you've been been here since when? Been here since '79. '79. '79. Okay. Well, it's home by now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Whose picture is that on that? Picture that, there on that. That's Kelly. Kelly is friend. Yeah, it's my. Uh, it's my. Sister. Uh, she helped you out a lot too. No, she, she. Um, well, you've been here since '79. Um, what do you do? I saw your picture in the paper. That's how I hooked up with you. <laughs> I stay busy. Doing what? Oh, whatever comes to mind. Whatever <laughs> comes to your mind. Okay. Well, that's all right. Um, well, I noticed when we went in the back here, we had a pretty extensive workout room. Yeah. Had a lot of weights. Mm -hmm. And stuff like that. I got into uh, sports. Uh, um, always played a lot of sports. Okay. And I got into sports uh, uh, after I got hurt. Uh, uh, me and uh, uh, well, I tell you, some of this stuff's pretty, pretty emotional. So I'm thinking, that, you oh, know, really? Like, yeah. <laughs> well, well, don't tell me anything you don't want to tell me. Well, you know, no. It's just open ended, and no, you can. You know, it's stuff that I should be able to talk about. I mean, I could talk about it. Yeah. I haven't heard it for 25 years. Um, and I even, and I, I made the statement in the paper, you, the lifespan of this thing is only four years. Uh -huh. So, I mean... You've sort of gone beyond that, haven't you? Uh, about six times. <laughs> yeah. um, no, um, well, when I, what I thought about was, I've been engaged a couple of times, and the first girl, she left me, and she said it was because I was in a wheelchair. Because the accident? Yeah. And that was when you were in the Navy. Mm -hmm. You were engaged to this yeah. girl. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, Some people can't handle it. Well, that's true. And, you know, it really hurt me bad at first, but then as old as I got, I thought, well, you know, I was glad. It would be better to get married and, you know, mm -hmm. separated and all that. Okay. And uh, then I've been engaged to, it's called my dad. Okay. Been engaged another time. And, you see a veteran? No. Okay. No. Hi there, how you doing? Hello, hello. We're making a movie here. Oh, yeah? <laughs> did I interrupt? <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> That's all right, we'll get you in the movie. <laughs> but uh, you've been here a long time, and I, I noticed in the paper that you were you have medals and you have uh, awards or things like this. I, think, uh, I, I got uh, over about it. I went to the Witcher Games a lot. What to wear? Wheelchair games. Oh, okay. National Veterans Wheelchair Games. Where do they have those? In one spot, or they spread them around the country? All over the country. Okay. All over the country. I got a chance to go to um, some places, you know, I've decided to go. Okay. Okay. Um, How often do they have the wheelchair games? Every year. Every year it is. Mm -hmm. Not like four years for the Olympics, but this is every year. Yeah. Every year. Okay. And uh, have you already been this year, or are you getting ready? I haven't been since 87. Oh, 87. You haven't yeah. been since 87. Uh, no. Uh, okay, okay. But but you have awards and things. Where did these come from? Wheelchair games? Well, the, the medals all came from the wheelchair games. Okay, that's what them, I mean. Them flags uh, came from a, a martial arts. I mean, martial arts. Oh, you are? Yeah. Uh, okay. So How's that work? <laughs> I don't want to mess with you. <laughs> okay. Uh, it, uh, my sensei, he, he takes, since I don't have a grip, um, um, or very or limited one, he takes like techniques and stuff, and he'll develop them for so I can use them. Good. And uh, so it's not like 
You don't get nothing to give to you, I'll put it that way. You earn it. Okay. <laughs> who who is he? Uh, Daryl Logan. Daryl Logan. Daryl Logan. Is he out here at the prison? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know Daryl. Yeah. Okay. He was here earlier today. Okay. Yeah, that's what he that's what he took me out. He did what? He beat you up. Uh well, uh, Ronnie, is there anything else you want to say? Anything else you want to talk about? Mm. Well, yeah. Okay. I um, got, uh, got saved okay. uh, in 91. Uh, uh -huh. And um, um, I'm a minister of the gospel. You are? Yes. Do, 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 do you, do you uh, have a church? Do you go to the church? Do you... A pastor of the church. Pastor of the church for about a year. Right. I don't now. I did evangelistic work. That's what I mean. Yeah. And, uh, and, um, that's the best thing I've ever done. Um, how would you describe your life? Had a good life. And it still is. Okay. Stay active. <laughs> well, that's, uh, when I go to the hospital sometimes, they'll ask me, I say, how do you stay alive? So then I said, well, grace of God, and I stay active. Right. i got to keep, keep, keep going. Well, thanks a lot. I, I appreciate you letting me in your house today. I'm going to Here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get your dad, and he might not know it. What's your dad's name? Earl. Earl. Uh, All right. Did you know he's ra raiding your refrigerator? <laughs> What's your name, Earl? They had me in the paper. He had deceased. Are you? They printed retracts. <laughs> they said he's well. You're there. not deceased yet, are you? You don't look like it to me. He's next door to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks, Rodney. Thanks again. I'll turn this off here. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Okay, Ronnie, here we are again. Let me get my cup of coffee. Yeah. Uh, we're back again uh, with the interview that we started. I think our interview was back a worst. And mm -hmm. you called me and thought of a few other things that you'd like to add here yes. to this. Okay, mm -hmm. go ahead. First, mom came to, uh, my mother came to get me, to pick mm -hmm. me up, bring me home. Where were you when that happened? In Columbus, the, the great lab, my boot camp. She okay. Came to pick me up. So what were you doing in Columbus? I mean, you you just got out of boot camp. You went from the Great Lakes to Columbus on the bus, or what? I know they flew me there. Oh, they flew. Who flew yeah. you there? The Navy. Yeah. Okay, they flew you down there. Scary. <laughs> Is that your first plane ride? Uh, there it was. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. And uh, now you're at the airport, right? Yes. And you get off, and there's your mom. Yes, from okay. my mom and my girlfriend and my cousin Philip and his wife. Okay. That was who was there? What was that like there? Um. Nobody recognized me except my mother. Is that right? Yeah, I uh, I grew about three inches. Uh, Is that right? Yeah, when I was in the Navy, Navy fed you then, didn't oh, they? Oh, yeah. They <laughs> and uh, All right. mom said, I know my kid. <laughs> exactly, and she did, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, she did. Oh. Well, then then, then uh, you thought of some other things that you'd like to tell me? Uh, yes. Uh, the uh, uh, When I got to go to the uh, wheelchair uh, games, uh, mm -hmm. one of the things, uh, I was really into sports a lot. And so I wanted to do something, uh, especially after I got hurt uh, in the sports. Mm -hmm. um, which uh, so I got into martial arts and the wheelchair okay. games and okay. uh, so forth. And uh, um, and I've worked at the, the martial arts for about five years now, which keeps me healthy. Are you still at it? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. When I've you got say it. you work at it, uh, 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 do you do it here? Do you go somewhere? No. Uh, well, I did go uh, downtown. I, I can't really do it with the class because I got to have it individualized. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And um, okay. but I, I got a, I hold rank in uh, um, in a, an art club, Aiki Jitsu, which is joint locks. Uh, I hold a black belt rank and I hold a uh, first degree brown in karate, set con karate, and uh, and a green belt uh, in American style karate <laughs> and a yellow belt <laughs> in Aikido. Okay, <laughs> good deal. So I keep working at it. Yeah. Okay. And um, and at the wheelchair games, um, um, I, I, I went as an independent. I didn't go with the team. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, my girlfriend Teresa used to go with me, um, and um, 
and I um, I did pretty good at them. I got uh, several medals, good uh, national good. titles and uh, stuff. And, and this is all while you're in a wheelchair. Oh, while I'm in a wheelchair. Where, where do you go for the wheelchair games? I went to uh, the first place I went to was Brockton, Massachusetts. Um, Boston. Okay. Yes, up by Boston, and um, that was in '84, and um, I got like five medals. Wow. And uh, then in '85. I went to Washington D.C. and I don't mm -hmm. know if I I don't, I don't know exactly how many I got. I got like five gold medals and wow. and the rest is like a two silver and three bronze, I believe. And Precious. I '85 and '86 went to Arlington, Texas. Um, mm -hmm. I won the national pool thing. I do remember that. I got three national bowling championships. That I got national what? National bowling championships. Bowling. Bowling. We're not talking about karate now. We're talking about bowling. Bowling. Like this. Yes. Okay. Except I use what they call bowling cue. It's almost like a shuffleboard thing, uh -huh. and um, okay. which um, it looks a lot easier than what it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, and then uh, and I went, my last year I went, I went to Ann Arbor, Michigan. Okay, you don't do it anymore. What's up with that? No, I. Uh, it's hard to get someone to go. Still like to work out. Okay. And I still do my martial arts. I enjoy that. Okay. I I like to stay active. Um, I may not be as active as I once was, but I'm I'm pretty busy. Most people that know me say. I'm more active than than they are. Okay. Um, well, then uh, bring me up to a date here. Uh, what do you do then? You still work out, and and I, I know you go to church. You're involved in the, in your church. Mm -hmm. What what do you what what's a normal day like? Get up in the morning and then what? I, I do a lot like what you do. I read. Read. Right? <laughs> I, I like to read. Mm -hmm. um, and I still work out. Um, I work out a little bit every day. I, I did it since I was a kid, so I, to me, like working out is just like, I guess like I have it like brushing, your, you know, your teeth. If I don't do it, I feel like, uh, you know, I'm missing something throughout my day. Okay. okay. And um, so I do that, and then, uh, and then of course I go to church three times a week, and, and I evangelize, okay. and um, um, and I enjoy meeting people when okay. I get out, and, and I like to get out. You know, I enjoy meeting people, and it's not really hard for me to meet people. I try to make people feel comfortable around me. Okay. Um, I notice you have a van out here, mm -hmm. and that, that van's equipped, isn't it? It has the lift and yes. the whole thing like that, okay? Yes. That's uh, right. Does your dad drive you around a lot and that sort of thing? Or? No, uh, no. I drive myself. Do you drive yourself? Yeah. You have the hand controls? Yes, hand controls. Okay. I drive myself. Um, matter of fact, uh, I'm, the, I'm the fourth quad in the state of Ohio to ever get the license. Oh, really? Yeah, they didn't used to... Uh, Give quite a pleasing, uh, well, not give them, but you know, are they earn them or get right, a chance. Right, right. I was okay. in the first group to ever well, do that. Okay, and then the lift would be when somebody else is driving, you're just the passenger and you're in there. That I try not to be in the passenger. Okay, <laughs> but you drive, like, um, let me ask you right now, say uh, say you needed a gallon of milk. Mm -hmm. Could you get in that van then, go down, get your gallon of milk? Oh, yeah. You can. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, why? Yeah, and, and usually my, most people. I need. I would need some assistance, you know. Probably like when getting the milk. I mean, like I could get it into the car, but like it would help me get up to the okay. right counter and so forth and so on. Okay. Bag of potato chips is bad. To try to get <laughs> and and uh, probably people know you down at the store. Where do you go down to Junction City here or at the Arts, Big Bear? You go again. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. So they know you in there, don't they? Yeah. 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 And people around the restaurants, they're they're good about you know okay. helping me in. Where do you like to eat? Mm. I like Mexican Italian food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, you know there's a new Mexican restaurant in town. Did you hear about that? Uh -uh. Uh, called Toro Loco. Oh. It's down there by the courthouse, and it's the best. Oh, it, really? It's the best Mexican food so far in this town. They have um, El Sombrero, that uh, is kind of fizzled out. Yeah. And remember um, Mexitali down here. Uh -huh. Those have new owners. I think they've changed the recipe or something. I don't know what's going on. And of course, Taco Bell. That's all. That's not real Mexican. And then the other one there, um, Carambas. You ever oh, heard of that? Yeah, I heard of it. Um, it's there. it's all right, but but the best so far that I've had is down there on the corner. You know where the courthouse is? Yeah. It's on the corner of Seventh and Washington Street, and it's called Toro Loco. You get the ah, chance you can do that. Go down. I have to go down there. Yeah, give sure. it a shot. Yeah. And I like Mexican food too, and I like Italian food. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do too, real well. <clears throat> Um, the only other thing, um, in, as far as in sports, I was on a professional pool tour. Uh, and I, I, yeah, I guess. 
Okay. And um, when I got hurt, uh, uh, my cousin and my cousin Ernie, we was looking for something that I could do mm -hmm. where I'd be independent. Once once I got the, and I use electrical tape, once I get tape to my hand, mm -hmm. I'm pretty well, you know, self-sufficient. Okay. I'm independent. Mm -hmm. And um, so I can get the balls out and so forth and so on. And I did that for years. So okay. I played a lot and, and um, Do you get any medals out of that or anything? No, that's uh, like the tour. That's, okay. that's different than the wheelchair games. The the tour, they um, they pay money, and they mm -hmm. just like uh, you know on TV stuff, okay. which I've been on there. And uh, you've been on TV. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. And um, I've signed autographs. I did all that. Really? Yeah. Okay. And uh, I got I got I got twice. I got a seventh and eighth in the nationals. And I also got a fifth in the nationals. That's the now. This is pool. Yes. Okay. That was up in Cleveland. That's pretty good, I'd say. And I got picked to go to that Manville Games in England. Huh. Yeah, but I didn't go. Mom was sick that time, and I wanted oh. to spend all the time I could with her, with my mother, and it was for 10 days. Oh, okay. But it was a really big honor. I'll bet it was an honor just to be picked, wasn't to it? To get to be picked. Yep. And, uh, Excellent. Well, that, that sounds good. Well, you know, we were, let's get back to the other question here. You okay. get up, you read, you work out, mm -hmm. and then what do you do? Somewhere we got breakfast in here somewhere, don't we? Huh? We have breakfast in here somewhere. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, I get up at nine. Usually, usually I get up at nine, and, uh, or someone, you know, or my dad today would get me up at nine. And, um, but Are you on your own when you get up, or somebody get you up? Yeah, I have someone get me up. Okay. Yes. And um, so, when, you know, uh, they get me up, and then um, they get things straightened up. Mm -hmm. And um, once I'm up, I'm pretty well self-sufficient except mm -hmm. for eh, you know there's some things that's pretty tough but I mean you learn patience okay and, and the one, you do. yeah you got to uh -huh. you're forced to whether you want to or not <laughs> and um, uh, so then um, I stay pretty uh, mm, I'll run and do this and do that I may even stop and shoot a little bit of pull oh really yeah and then sometimes I'll, I'll um, Get on my hand bike and pump it for thirty minutes. And, oh really? Yeah. Okay. And so, and then um, there's something for you to be involved in. I've always I stay busy. Okay. Uh, sometimes people have a misconception because they'll they see my van there and they think I'm not busy, but they mm -hmm. don't know what I'm doing in this house. Right. And then sometimes the van's gone. They think I'm busy, and actually I'm taking it easy. <laughs> so. Okay. Uh, I I noticed the last time I was here there was a fellow here. Um, oh, what was his name? Uh, works out at the prison there with me. What was his name? Jeff Lewis. Jeff, yeah, yeah. Now, Jeff comes, helps you out a little bit. Helps me work out. Helps you work. He's, he helps you. He's a trainer or something, or just helps you work I out? He's a friend. A friend? He helps me work out. Okay. And then and then uh, there was another fellow that comes. Daryl. Daryl. Daryl who? Logan. Daryl Logan. Yeah, yeah. He's and, my sensei. Uh, with karate and mm -hmm. with... Uh, yeah. Okay. Very yeah, good. So. Uh, how often do these guys come? Well, Jeff usually comes twice a week. Okay. And um, Daryl is taking some time off because he's been at it for like 25 years now. 25 and he needs, years. And he needs a little break. <laughs> Which I, I tell you, I'm really thankful for him because he takes the techniques that someone with a normal body can do mm -hmm. and adapts them for me. Oh. So actually what he's did is took an art and what I've got to work with and, um, you know, uh, well, like I don't have a grip, so we use like uh, what they call like T-wraps or uh, so forth and so on. And, um, mm -hmm. it's, it's, martial arts has really got a bad uh, rap, I think, because it's a good, uh, it's good for discipline, mm -hmm. uh, you know, builds up a lot of character. Mm -hmm. um, and these people that go out and use it, you know, like to hurt people and stuff, they're not, that's, you know, they're just giving the arts a black eye because that's right. not what they're for. Um, well, you've got a full day every day, it sounds mm -hmm. like. Um, now, now Sunday, is. Uh, do you go to church tomorrow? Oh, yeah. And are you going to drive yourself then to church? Yes. And uh, is this your church or you're a member of a congregation there? I'm a member of a congregation <coughs> there. I evangelize out of there. Okay. What what church is it? A community Bible on Fairground Road. Fairground Road, community Bible. Mm -hmm. Who's your pastor? Joey Nelson. Okay. Yeah. And uh, that's, that's a pretty active church, isn't it? Yes, yeah, very much so. Yeah, very much so. Good, good people. Good. Uh, okay. Good. Well, uh, is there anything else you'd like to say, or anything else you'd like to put in here? I'm going to take this down to the library now and put it on the shelf down there.
The only thing that I wish for that I can think of right now is I've had, you're right, I've had a full life. Mm -hmm. I've had a good life. How old are you now? Uh, I'm 44, coming up on 45. <laughs> and uh, um, the one thing that I, I long for in my heart right now, uh, and I pray a lot for, is um, a companion. A friend. Right. right, companion. Yeah, companion. Okay. And you know, I'd like, I would love to, um, you know, meet someone to, to share my life with. Uh -huh. I feel like I got a lot to offer and uh, you know a lot to share, and, and that's one of my my hopes and my dreams. Just let me throw this out at you. You've been on the internet with that idea. You have an internet. You no. Get on. Uh, Do that, man. You'll love that. Get yourself a computer. Get online. The internet will open up a whole nother world for you. I mean, you've got a whole lot of worlds going on. Okay. And my advice to you is get yourself a computer and get online. You think I'll meet that soon? Oh, yeah, I think you will. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and when it happens, you call me. Okay. <laughs> Good deal. Good deal. Okay, buddy.